Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's not waste any time and let's jump right into today's DIYs. Okay, party people, let's get this party started. So I start by taking these three beware signs and I take the tags off. If you can't buy, find the beware signs, I have seen a bunch of long signs that are in the Christmas decor, so you could definitely try to look for those. But I just take my roller and my utility knife. The roller was sliding all around, so I did just freehand and I made score lines in the middle of each board to make it look like wood. I then just put them side by side, flip them around to the beware part, and I take hot glue and large popsicle sticks in the seams, and I glue those together. After that, then I take my white Waverly chalk paint, and I don't give it a good coat. I like to leave some of that brown showing through to create a weathered wood look. I then take my square dowels, they're linked in my Amazon favorites, and I measure out the frame. And then I take my lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree, and I fill those holes in. Now, I love this little mini miter saw because I can use it right here on my desk. It's also linked in my Amazon favorites, but I do just cut those dowels down, and it is the perfect size to fit two 3 8 square dowels in the little slot. So once, uh, so you can cut two at a time, I should say. I should have said but I then just take my favorite stain Jacobian and I lay my dowels next to each other I use a paper towel and I stain the ends first and then I stain the dowels all the way around now I've had this lamb's ear um, garland for a while now and I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with it so for this project I figured that they would look perfect on this so I did just kind of measure cut it down and then I took some hot glue and I glued the ends together and then I repeated that two more times. Originally I was only going to do two on this sign two little lamb's ear wreaths but once I started putting it together I didn't like the way that it looked so I did just make another one. So once I had all three little mini wreaths made up I then went on my computer and typed in Mary and then printed that out. I had to tape them together because this is really big so um, if you ever want to do bigger wording just let it go to a different page and then like I said you can just tape them together and then I took my Arteza graphite paper and I transferred that word on. Next I take my Arteza paint pen and I use the red and I go over that wording. You guys know I love these uh, paint pens or paint markers um, not only are they so creamy and smooth but Arteza gives you extra tips so when you are um, using paint pens on chalk paint a lot of the times your tip will wear out so I like the fact that they give you extra tips and the tool to change out your tips so once I had the wording all done up and looking gorgeous, I then went in with my gold Arteza uh, acrylic paint and I just kind of give this wording kind of like a shadow. After I had my wording done, then I just go in with some hot glue and I glue down my frame. I like to start at the end end or you know like the bottom or the top and then I work my way up so I do the bottom and then the sides and then the top just so that way you can be sure that your frame is going to fit together nicely. Sometimes I'm not the best when I cut it or measure it so this is just a foolproof way to make sure that you don't have a huge gap. 
Next, I go in with this burlap ribbon, I believe it's called, from Dollar Tree, and then I cut that straight down the middle. Now, you guys know if you've been around that your girl is OCD, so I did count the threads so that I could have it perfectly down the middle. So I did count 22, and the middle is 11. I then just up uh, wrap that around the top of my wreath wherever you want the top to be and then make sure you have these little silicone fingers or you definitely will burn yourself because this burlap ribbon has spaces in it. So I just glued the top where the ribbon met and then I glued down where the ribbon meets the uh, wreath just so that way it stayed together and didn't have like a space in there and then I just glued that down to my sign at first I started by gluing the back first and then I went on like on the frame and glued it down but I quickly figured out that the easier way is to just glue it in the front and then glue it in the back and I did want to mention also that I did glue the side wreaths a little bit higher and then the middle wreath I did glue down a little bit more. So originally I was just going to stop here but I felt that it was missing something so I did just take these berries from Dollar Tree and I just cut little small pieces off of this pick and then I just glued them right around the wreath. Once I had that finished then I did just make three simple bows from some uh, red and white buffalo check ribbon. I believe I got it at Walmart and then I had this really thin gold ribbon and I just put that in there with the bow just to give it a little bit of, of a pop of the gold since I did have gold in the Mary. And then last but not least, I glued these down to the top of my wreath. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Per usual, I cannot pick a favorite. I, this one is up there this week, you guys. I don't know. You guys let me know at the end. Hey friends, in today's video, I am collaborating with a few other creators here on YouTube. You guys, I am so scatterbrained. I don't know what I was thinking. I agreed to this collaboration and my upload schedule is always Fridays. So I don't know why I assumed that the date was a Friday. I literally have not even looked at the calendar. I have so much going on. I love to just pile everything on top of my plate as much as I possibly can. Cause you know, it's fun, why not? But they've already uploaded their videos Wednesday. I would love it and be so appreciative if you guys could go over, show them your support. They have a very similar style as me. They love farmhouse DIYs, Dollar Tree DIYs, all that fun stuff. So I know for a fact that you guys will love these channels. So it is Shayna from Robison Repurposing, Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Sav, and Camaro at DIYing to DIY here on YouTube. It's really hard to get your channel noticed when you're first starting out and get people to watch. And I really love that I can help smaller creators um, get people to their channel and watching. So I know, like I said, I know you guys will love them. Go over, show them some support. I will have their links in my description box. So I know that they'll be appreciative of it. So anyway, what we're doing today, obviously, is some more Dollar Tree Christmas farmhouse DIYs, maybe a little winter DIY in there somewhere. We wanted to try to get Christmas in one more good time before Christmas is here. Um, I know that it's kind of out of season already, which is kind of funny, but... You guys, Christmas only comes around once a year. So before we put those Christmas craft supplies away, we wanted to just do one more Christmas video. So also I might be uploading either Thursday or Saturday of next week. I don't wanna upload on Christmas because that is your time with your family and I never wanna take away from that. So 
um just be on the lookout i will let you guys know in my community tab just so that way you know um when my upload date is like i said i don't want to run into your family time so anyway i love you guys so much my shed we're just putting stuff together now so that video will be coming up soon i know this is really long-winded but i wanted to give all that information to you guys so let's jump right back into today's video okay moving on to the next project i take these little happiness houses whatever you want to call them and i just pull those little flowers off now they're kind of like felt i don't know what you want to call it but um they are glued pretty good i couldn't get the rest off so i just pulled off as much as i could and then i just took my blow dryer and i got all the stickers off there was still some sticky residue so i did just take a paper towel and my goo gone and i got this little bottle of goo gone from dollar tree and it lasts a really long time because you don't need a lot so anyway definitely a good thing to have in your craft stash but i did just get that residue off of all of the pieces so once I got the glue off, then I did take my finger sander, which is also linked down below, and I just sanded down some of that goo gone. I didn't know if it would kind of seep through the paint or not, so just to be sure, um, I did just want to sand that down as best as I possibly could. Next, I go in with my white Waverly chalk paint, and I give the bottom pieces the hexagon pieces um, a coat of white waverly chalk paint i then took these little tags i believe i got these from hobby lobby and i gave these also a slight coat of waverly chalk paint again to leave some of that wood showing through so while that's all drying we're going to work on these little houses i take my skinny sticks from dollar tree and i lay them on the top and mark them and then cut them down so that way they sat together nicely at the top i then did the exact same thing for the bottom um, marking it and cutting those down but I did not do the bot or I should have said I did the sides um, but I did not do the bottom part we're gonna leave that bottom part open for a reason and you'll see why in just a second so once I had all my pieces cut down now these are exactly the same so you don't have to measure each piece just measure one and then you can use those as kind of like templates and cut down the rest but I did go in with my hot glue and I glued those pieces down to all three of them once I had them all glued down, then I just made sure that my hot glue um, didn't seep through. And if it did, then I just took my mini sander and sanded those edges down just so that way we have a nice smooth edge. Now I got these I think they're window panes from Hobby Lobby. They're actually in the dollhouse section. I grabbed them a few months back just because I knew I could do something with them. So I figured that this was the perfect project for them. They're all a little bit different. So I liked that about them. But I went in with my crimson Waverly chalk paint. And I gave two of them a coat of red. And then the other one white now you guys paint all this stuff separate don't glue it down just yet <laughs> i ended up popping these back off because for the red ones i wanted the background to be white and then for the white ones i wanted the background to be red so just paint your background prior to putting these little uh, window pieces on if you do recreate these projects I also wanted to say that um, I know that you guys are really tired of Christmas, but you guys, like I said a little bit ago, you only get Christmas one time of year, and this is the time of year that I actually like to just make things for next year because I I'm still in the Christmas mode and I still want to feel like I'm doing something for Christmas even if I don't necessarily 
put it up this year. I just store it away and then I'll put it up next year. But anyway, I went in with my crimson and my chip brush on the white one and I dry brushed around that one. And then for the red ones and the bottom piece, um, or for the red ones, I did the white. And then for the bottom pieces, I did go in with the red Waverly chalk paint as well as the antique wax. And I wanted the top of these again to look like weathered wood. So I did go heavy handed with the wax, with the antique wax, I should say. Next, I just take these Canadian stems and I um, cut them in half and then glue the ends together to make little baby wreaths. I glue all my wreaths down to the front of these and then I take some red pit berries from Dollar Tree. I did the same thing, cut it down, glued the end, and then I glued that down to the wreath as well. Go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. I then just made two little bows with jute and glued those down to the red wreath or to the red house, whatever you want to call it. And then I made a little bow out of red buffalo check and I glued that to the white one. So I set those aside for a minute and I am going to work on these little tags. So I just typed up the kids' names and then I printed them off. I then take my Arteza graphite paper and I just use that to transfer their names on. I, I guess I missed the clip, but I did go in with my Arteza gold paint pen and went over their names. And then to make the names pop off of here, I went in with my black Waverly chalk paint and a very tiny Arteza brush. And I just gave those names a little bit of shadowing, just like we did the Mary sign. Now, I really love the way these look. Um, I couldn't figure out how to personalize the kids stockings this year I got them new ones from Dollar Tree they have these really nice buffalo check ones so I thought that this would give it a really nice touch once I had their names all done up then we're gonna kind of work backwards again you guys know how I roll I don't know this is the only way I know how to work, so just bear with me for a second. But I take three uh, wreath hangers from Dollar Tree. I measure where I want the end, where the, where the actual hanger is, and that's what we're going to hang the stockings with. So I just bend that down where I want it to come off of the bottom part. And then I also measure um, where I want it to um, lay on top. So that part, I just bended it back and forth until it pops off. It's really thin, so it was nothing to do. And then I just glued these little house pieces on top. And look how cute, you guys. Little Dollar Tree uh, stocking hangers that I will use year after year. Okay, friends, if you are new here, my name is Melissa, and I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse decor, and much more. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would stick around. Just click that subscribe button, then you just want to tap the bell click all to be notified every single time I upload. If you don't click that all button, YouTube picks and chooses when to notify people. And really, even for the people who do click all, YouTube still picks and chooses who they want to alert. So definitely try that at least. And then you guys, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs or 10,000 followers on Instagram so that I can get the swipe up feature. Somebody asked me what that was. And in your stories, um, 
You can hit swipe up for somebody to follow a link rather than go to my page, click the link, click another link, go find the video. It's just much easier to have the swipe up feature. So definitely follow me over there. And my Instagram handle is all things crafty too, or you can find it in the description box. I share much more personal stuff over there, so it's definitely a good time. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Share it with your family and friends if you think they would enjoy it as well. Those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. So moving on, we take these stockings from Dollar Tree and then I just take a couple pieces of jute. I string my little tags through the part where you hang the stocking and I just tie that off and clip the ends. I do that for all three and then I make three double jute bows and I just glue them right to the top of the tags. And then that was it, you guys. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm so loving these. I'm so glad that I decided to do personalized stockings this year. And they all look cohesive. Usually the kids' stockings are different. So I definitely like that these are all cohesive. So this one is super duper easy, you guys. It literally took me like five minutes to make. And I had this really beautiful wreath that didn't have a hanger. So I just took my Mod Podge and I went around these bells randomly. And then once I had my Mod Podge on there, then I went in with some cinnamon and it gives the look of rust. Um, I did this in a few previous videos and you guys all love this trick so I figured that I would bring it back again for those who haven't seen it but I also like the look of it on this project so I then just take a uh, wreath hanger and literally hot glue them to the top of the wreath hanger and then look how quick and easy you have a gorgeous Christmas slash winter wreath hanger for literally two dollars you cannot beat that I did see something like this at Walmart and it was like six dollars and you know me I said there is no way I am paying that I can make that for much less Okay guys, moving on to this one. This is another super duper easy project. I took a gift box from Dollar Tree and I took four large stir sticks. Originally, I used this little um, hand saw. I sawed and sawed and sawed and it was kind of at an awkward angle so my husband did end up cutting them for me while I was with the kids but I did just cut out a frame you can definitely do it by hand I did um three of them by hand or actually uh two and a half I should say and then I just got too tired my wrists are really messed up ever since I had kids let me know in the comments down below if any of your wrists are messed up since having kids since I had Bella in August my wrists are just not what they used to be I don't know what it is but anyway after I cut them down I stained the frame and then I laid it out once again to make sure it fit right and then I took my hot glue and I just glued it right down to this box once I had that glued down, then I did just take some white Ray Really chalk paint and my chip brush, surprise, surprise, and I go around all the edges with my chalk paint as well as the inside edges. Once I had the edges done, then I did go in and I dry brushed all the way around this frame once again to get to give it that look of like weathered wood I don't know why but I am so into that look it just looks so old and rustic Ugh, it makes my heart melt <laughs> anyway um, I did glue the back of, or the bottom of the box to the back just to make it a little bit more sturdy and then look how cheap and quick and easy it is to make this sign you guys 
it's a no-brainer it's so easy and I know that you guys will love it too so moving on to our last but not least project I had these little wooden banner pieces but I didn't have enough I only had two so I did just take some Dollar Tree foam board I traced that one piece up three times I almost said four <laughs> three times and then I went in originally with my um, DeWalt knife but I forgot that I had these Arteza craft knives I believe it's called a hobby kit and it comes with a bunch of different ones and you guys it worked so much better the foam board was actually smooth usually when I cut it the edges are all jagged but anyway I took some of this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. It has like the music tunes on it. I traced those pieces out. I cut them down and then I took my glue stick and I glued those right down. I also took a little, I don't even know what you want to call it, but it has like a pin point at the end and I did just create two holes on each side of each piece. Once I had that done, then I take this little truck ornament from Dollar Tree and I painted the truck red. I painted the tires black and then the hubcaps white. And then I went in with my Arteza watercolors and I made the tree kind of like an ombre um, darker at the top and then lighter at the bottom. I did that before and I just love the way that it looked because you can still see that wood through there. So um, like I said in a previous video you guys I don't know what it is but I've been so obsessed with watercolors lately. I'm trying to master my craft so um, hopefully soon I'll be good at it but Right now I'm just kind of playing around, but I definitely enjoy um, using watercolors. It's definitely different than what I'm used to, but it's so satisfying. So anyway, enough about watercolors. I'm sure you guys think that's probably boring, but oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> I did just take a small square dowel and I cut it down into smaller pieces glued it to the back of this truck and then I had this J and Y from a different project you'll see it here in a minute um, that I had already had painted so I didn't do anything to those but they did have Jenga blocks glued to the back just so that way it'll pop off the banner but um, I took my uh, chip brush and some ink waverly chalk paint and I just dry brushed all the way around the edges and look how cool and I don't know it just give it such a satisfying effect around these music notes it made it look so old you can also take a lighter and um not light the paper on fire don't do that shoe but you can make it look um old but you guys know I love my dry brushing come on now it's Melissa from all things crafty if she's not dry brushing then there's something something definitely wrong with that situation <laughs> anyway oh you guys 1 30 in the morning here we go anyway I took my little scissors and I went in those holes because they weren't big enough and then I took these little mini stockings from Dollar Tree. I put a stocking on each end, strung it through each of the banners, and then in between each banners, I did just put three wooden beads. These are also linked down below. These are the bigger ones, so the 20 millimeter beads and then at the end I figured out that I did want some beads next to the little mini stockings so I just went back in put the beads on and then I tied the stocking to the end I also tied a knot at the end so that I could hang it and then that was it for that one you guys thank you guys so much for stopping by if you guys have come from savannah or camaro or shana's channel 
welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Like I said, I would love it if you would stick around. There's so much in store for 2021, including another collab with us. I promised them I would make it up to them for messing up Wednesday's collab. But anyway, like I said, let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I don't think I'm going to upload until either Saturday or Monday. I haven't decided, but I do want to give you guys some time with your family. So I love you guys so much. If nobody has told you today, you are beautiful. You are worthy. And I love you with all my heart and soul. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You guys are everything to me. And definitely take time for yourself. Get yourself something nice. I know a lot of times it's about the kids and everybody else. But I want you guys to do something nice for yourself. So anyway, like I said, have a great Christmas. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.